What do you think of when you think of Ireland? I mean, personally for me, obviously, it's Terry Wogan. He's the quintessential Irishman. But it could be rugby league because the Irish men will be taking part in their fifth World Cup this autumn on the shores of their neighbours in England. And we've been down to Hunslet, well, South Leeds, to the John Charles Centre for Sport to speak to some of them ahead of the big tournament. Let's get rid of this diddly dee music and bring you exciting shots of men in a gym lifting weights. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ireland and the Rugby League World Cup 2021. Very important at these things that we get things right. So, uh, how do you pronounce your name? Jamie and Jolliffe. Excellent, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy is easier for everyone else. Yeah. What's it like being in England at this time of year? No, it's nice. Uh, obviously, quite a bit colder than what I'm used to up on the Gold Coast. But um, yeah, it's a change of scenery. It's very different. But I'm really enjoying my time here. And what's it like being part of the Irish squad for the first time? Oh, it's amazing. Um, obviously, they're a great bunch of lads, and it's a it's a real good group here, a real passionate group, and. Uh, I'm just hoping to add to that and, and do my family proud, so it's really good being here. What's the, the family connection then to the Emerald Dome? Uh, so on my father's side, my nan, uh, she was born in uh, County Down in Northern Ireland, a town called Newtonards, if I'm saying that correct. But um, yeah, no, that's the connection there and um, yeah, she's, she's a proud Irish woman, so to be able to represent her is, is really special. And like I say, that must be great because obviously there's a lot of family connections in this Irish squad. To be able to pay tribute to your, to your family must be a great honour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you said, it is a great honour and I'm proud to do it. And, uh, you know, once I pull the jersey on, I just want to do these boys proud as well and, and, and Ireland. So, yeah. What's it like being in, in camp for the last week or so? No, it's been really good. Uh, obviously, getting to know the lads. Um, I was trying to understand the uh, the accent. They're probably thinking I sound a bit different as well, but it's been really good. They're all a bunch of welcoming blokes, and uh, we've had a beer together and really sort of broken the ice. So uh, they're really good dudes, and, and they're all uh, you know, just ready to rip in and play some good footy. For those who don't watch the NRL, what kind of player are you? Uh, I like to think of myself as a pretty tough, consistent uh, forward. Yeah, so that's what I pride myself on is the little effort areas, and that's what I want, uh, want to bring to this team. And you know, I know our focus here is, is being a strong defensive team, and I think I can add to that. So. Yeah. How did things come about then in terms of getting the call up to Ireland? Um, well, obviously um, there was a, a heritage line there and, and I'd put that in, me, in my contract and um, obviously that information come across the, the Irish board and they contacted me and you know, it was always something I knew I could do but to, to have them call up and, and actually ask me to uh, come on the tour with them was, um, yeah, no, yeah, it was really special. For you and the, the other NRL players in the squad, how important is your experience of coming up against, say, the New Zealanders in, in that final group game? How important is that going to be? Because you'll know a little bit more about those players than we do here. Yeah, it'd be important. Like, obviously, obviously, you know, they're probably the front runners at the moment. They're such a quality team, but I've played against them all, you know, obviously not all at once, but. Um yeah, you know, hopefully I can bring a bit of experience back and, and you know, a bit of knowledge for these boys so we can take them head on and, and we know what we're expecting. And likewise, when you face Jamaica, I guess some of the, the experience from the, from, from the guys in the squad will help you out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, vice versa. These boys probably know a lot of the Jamaican boys, so they'll give me the heads up who to run at, who not to run at. So I'll do the same for New Zealand. Uh, by the end of the time, what are you hoping to achieve here? Obviously, we want to have a successful campaign here. Um, we're pushing for a spot in the uh, 2025 World Cup as well over in France. So that, that's a goal. Minimum minimum uh, standard is uh, finals. So that's what we that's what we've aimed for, and I think we can achieve that. And everyone set their sights on it, so we're working hard for that. Good, yeah, excited. There's a good buzz around camp and that. Obviously, a lot of new faces. Um, but we've had a good couple of sessions there so far, so all just going well, and hopefully we can be ready to go next week. Not a bad season with Halifax. It must be nice to build on that this uh, this coming uh, tournament. Yeah, definitely. It's been good staying fit and getting a full season under my belt, so hopefully I can carry a bit of form into, into the World Cup, yeah. 
what are the hopes at this point of the uh, event? Because obviously you've got three big games, Lebanon, Jamaica and then uh, New Zealand in the final group game. Yeah, obviously three tough games, so we're just going to be taking it week by week and prepping for each one individually and not getting ahead of ourselves and obviously the first job's Jamaica, so that's all our focus is on at the minute. What's it like building up to these kind of games? Because I guess no one knows much about any one of the, the, the smaller nations, so to speak. Yeah, I, I suppose that adds a bit to it, but when it's people playing for their country, you know, it's passion and that takes it to another level, so we're expecting three tough physical games. We know that Ireland, a very passionate sporting nation. What's it like to play in the green some new faces uh, coming into the squad how have they fit into the Irish way of rugby league brilliant yeah it's, it, it doesn't feel like a new group everyone like them two sessions there have been spot on and everyone's gelling and socialising and stuff so getting to know each other and it's good to make new friends and get to know new people so it's a bit of a change from club rugby but yeah it's been good so far for those who've never seen Ireland play what are we expecting to uh, see what style of play will we see from the Irish in the World Cup uh, I think it's they sort of pride themselves, we always pride ourselves on our effort, effort areas and grafting for each other and working hard for each other, you know, playing together. So I think just a team that is willing to put their body online for one another and just graft for the full 80 minutes. But obviously not the biggest sport in Ireland, but a great chance to showcase the sport to those watching. Definitely, yeah. It's always nice to get out to new audiences and stuff and hopefully we can get the game buzzing over there. I know there's a few clubs over there doing really good things, so hopefully this World Cup just spurs them on a bit more, yeah. Yeah, it's been unreal. The vibe's been really good. Obviously, based here in Leeds, it's um, not a bad spot to be. So um, the weather's been not too bad as well. So um, yeah, the vibe's been really good. The boys have been ripping in over the last two days, and um, everyone's just settling in really well. And um, yeah, the, the vibe's really good at the moment. What's, what's your connection with Ireland? How do you qualify? And how did you get, end up here in Leeds this, this yeah, year? Yeah, so um, so both my mum's my mum's dad and my dad's dad's uh, Irish. So my mum's dad's from Sligo, and my dad's dad's from De from Derry. So um, yeah, quite thick in the Irish history I am, and obviously. Look the piece with the with the ginger hair and um, yeah I'm 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 really stoked to be in this camp it um it means a lot to myself and it means a lot to my family as well so um yeah it's a big achievement for myself and um yeah I'm just riding the wave and, and just really enjoying it it's obviously a big occasion and uh, yeah just learn everything I can whilst being in camp that is the one thing that that it appears and I've obviously only been here a few uh, a few minutes but there appears to be a great spirit already within the camp you've only been together a few days. Yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's been unreal, mate. All the boys, are, there's some good characters in the team and, um, yeah, we're all gelling together really well and, and it kind of shows as well out, out, on the, out on the paddock as well. The, the boys are looking really sharp as well. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's good fun in camp and obviously being together, you, you're stuck together. So, it's, um, yeah, it's been, been some good times. What, what kind of play were you out on the field? What should we be looking for you to be doing out there? Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a seven or, or, or a nine here in, for the Irish team. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can bring some energy and some, a bit of spark around the ruck. And um, yeah, look, I, I just I just want to rip in. I want to rip in for, for the country as well and for my family too. So um, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next four weeks. Three tough games, Lebanon, Jamaica and New Zealand. What do you know about those sides? Yeah, obviously they're quality sides. Obviously New Zealand are, are a massive a massive big dog in the in the in the competition so they're always going to be a tough game and 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 Jamaica and Lebanon they're they're, they're quite good too and they've been coming over the last few years and and really really tearing it up too so look we just need to worry about ourselves obviously camp footy you're not together for that long so we just need to focus on ourselves and and kind of kind of gel together as a team what we're doing now so um and I think we should be all right is it an easy decision to make to come over to England in the autumn stroke winter rather than stay at home in, in the summer in Australia? I've been over here for two years now and I'm, I'm slowly getting used to the weather. The, the cold still gets me, but um, yeah, like I, I'm living in York, so it's a, it's a beautiful city and, and, and here in Leeds it's unreal as well. And as the sun just kind of pops out now, it hasn't been too bad. The wind the wind gets you, but other than that, it's it's not too bad. How's the back of the looking? Yeah. We saw when the sun came out. Or when yeah, it had a bit of, bit of decent light and then that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ronan, first of all, uh, how do you feel part of the Ireland squad for the World Cup? I'm delighted, I'm buzzing to be here and like obviously it's a long time coming uh, with it postponed last year so I'm just glad to be here and grateful and excited. Like We have an exciting group, a really a fantastic group and it's been building since, uh, since I came into this group in 2018 so it's really special. I mean, I remember the World Cup quarter-final in 2000. I'm assuming you weren't born then. 
Uh, <laughs> in 2000. <laughs> um, just that was my year of birth, so yeah. <laughs> uh, England played Ireland at Henley. It was an amazing atmosphere and it was a great kick off for Ireland in the World Cup. What are you hoping to achieve this year? Well, I, I think uh, for us, I think quarterfinals is a minimum standard. You know, that's what we're excited about. Like, we think that we can really get out of this group and like have a real dig and get into the quarters. And you know, once you're in, once you're in the quarterfinals, like anything can happen. Do you know what I mean? We're excited for that. But I think the real the real main thing is building a lot of momentum from this tournament. You know, like obviously COVID slowed down the international game a lot, so we need to get um, get a bit of momentum going. And I think that like we're looking at our group and we're going, yeah, we can get out of this and we can really make an impact and be, I suppose, an underdog in this tournament. You know what I mean? Be someone who spooks a few people and uh, shakes up shakes up our group a bit. Irish sports fans love an underdog, and I guess you, you've got to play into that role. Well, absolutely, yeah. And you know they call us to fight in Irish, don't they? So you know yourself, uh, yeah, going to play into that role a lot. I guess we have we have a group of really talented lads here, you know, and uh, it's 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 exciting. Like we have we have the talent, and a lot of people have come come forward for this tournament, and it's really exciting with the lads that we have. Yeah, well, what's it like? Because obviously you're blending together a mix of players in the Championship, Super League, and the NRL guys have come over. And I guess you're going to be the, the Irish ambassador. You're going to have to teach them all about Ireland. I know we're all Irish here. You know, once once that jersey's on, we're all Irish here. But yeah, no, absolutely. We have lads from everywhere, all ages. I mean, like we have some younger lads than me, which is uh, unusual. I'm used to being the youngest person. You know what I mean? But there's some young lads and some experienced lads, and there's lads who've played like over 200 games and, and played in the biggest uh, biggest occasions for rugby league so it's exciting you know and like we're blending that experience with those new people and we've all come together as a group like we've only been in camp two days and like everyone's getting around each other and that so it's, it's really exciting with the way the groups come together and everyone's just just dead on and ready to rip in for ireland and for the country yeah, it sounds like the, the social side is going well and, and I guess the rugby side will be ready in a, a week or so's time. Well, that's it. You know, that'll take care of itself. If we're all good mates and we're willing to have a dig for each other and we all have each other's back, you know what I mean? Then everything else will take care of it. You know, there's a talent there. We have the talent there. We have the players who've been playing all year. They know how to play rugby league, you know what I mean? It's the main thing is that we get around each other and we know the reason that we're all playing together for our country and that's that's the main thing, you know, because you can't, you, can't you can't build that way uh, having the passion and having the group as a bit, a bit of togetherness, you know? And getting the uh, the nation of Ireland weather over there or uh, over here uh, behind you in the tournament. Absolutely. Well, listen, I, I'll tell you something like there's some amount of people saying that they're booking on the flight over Ryanair Magic flights, you know what I mean? But the rickety flights, but yeah, no, they're, they're all coming over to support us. And we have a huge uh, Irish base in Leeds, you know, there's an Irish centre and there's a lot of Irish heritage in Leeds as well. So no doubt we'll have uh, the city of Leeds behind us and all the people with Irish heritage as well as hopefully some neutrals who just want to get on the bandwagon and support Ireland, you know, just because, you know, we're all fairly decent fellas. So hopefully a few neutral fans come across and have Ireland as a second team.